All right, guys, good morning. Welcome to class. I'm so glad to get to hang out with you as always. Um, of course, it's bad not to be closer, but glad we can still come together. Um, I wanted to ask you about maybe considering we could make this a 75 minute class instead of 60 minutes, since obviously we won't have a class behind us. Uh, so maybe let Jennifer know your thoughts on that. I'll try to keep it right in an hour today. Um, I'll be doing this Monday too, so don't forget 6.30 on Monday. And be sure I, to check hey out- Hey Gail, I do have yeah. a question on Zoom when I signed up, it said it was only for 45 minutes. Oh. And after that, you'd have to get some type of membership for Zoom. Maybe I'm on the wrong platform. I think, viewing. no, we should be good because the, the company one, oh, I'm sorry, I, let me go into the room. I, I plug myself in if y'all can hear me. We should be good for, we should be good for an unlimited amount of time with meetings. If you have, um, since you signed in with our meeting, the 40 minute one is if you make your own meeting and you have more than one person their free version is 40 or 45 minutes, but we have, the studio has a paid one, which allows this one to go longer. We've, oh, that's great. Yeah, we have okay. some hour, um, cause we start at usually about 15 minutes early and we go late for folks to chat. So we've gone um, upwards to an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes and it's been okay. Great. Right. Right. Okay, Thank don't, don't forget to check out the schedule online guys, cause there'll be a lot of classes offered. So, you know, don't be driving yourself crazy. Do your yoga and just let everything go. Um, and also let Jennifer know if you want any more classes or any kind of special classes to get the wiggles out. You know, it's all it's available. We're here for you. And the fun part is that some of you are going to be on carpet today and our balance. And me too. I might fall over. Who knows? So have fun. If you're wiggling a little more. Just embrace it. If you've got your hardwood floor, lucky you. Hi, Laura. Welcome. Hi, Hi. thank you. <laughs> Sorry. We're all going to begin seated today. All right. Maybe just find yourself some movement. If you can, sit on your blanket um, just to lift the hips a little higher. And some of you are really opening your hips, but it really does help them open a little more. Okay. So the higher the better, I'm sitting on the bolster. And you might just do some movement of the shoulders. Um, chances are your heat isn't as intense as in the studio. So be kind to your body, let it really warm up. Don't try to take it to the expectations of where the heat that we normally have helps it loosen up. So just really create that inner heat with your breathing, your focus of breathing today. So if it's available, palms open to the sky, lifting our shoulders, give them a few rolls, allowing your heart to open. Nice big inhale, exhale out your mouth, your side out. Really zip it up, pelvic floor to the crown of the head, feel the presence of your back pressing back so you feel a nice expansion front to back, side to side. And let's just begin to breathe in and out through our nose as always. So we have a little more distractions when we're in our personal space. So maybe count one inhale, thumb and index finger together, and exhale. Then move to your middle finger with your thumb, your ring finger and pinky, and just begin to follow your breath, touching the fingers. And if you can, close the eyes, let the distractions go. Begin to draw yourself within. Jaw softening. Try not to force the breathing, but just feel the beautiful expansion, the soothing sounds your breathing brings. So on our next inhale, we're going to take our arms wide and up to the sky. Palms together, exhaling from heart center. Continue to feel the breath, the rise of the chest. Find a smile within your heart and allow it to creep to your lips. And set your intention. All right. We're going to come off our prop, set it aside, make sure it's not in the way. We will be flipping our dog later. All right, so from here, bringing our feet out in front of it, 
Let's do some spinal twists, taking our knees side to side. Nice. Begin to lift the heart, let the head fall back. And just soften your gaze. Feel the spine begin to warm up. Pressing firmly through the finger pads already. All right. Finish on the side you did not begin on. And we'll work our way to tabletop, hands and knees. Give your feet a little pat. All right. All right, and let's inhale, lift that right leg up and back. Oh, well, let's do a few rounds of cat and cow. Always gotta do our cat and cow, maybe freestyle or organic. I know all of you, I know your practices. So I'll just skip the cues. You follow where it feels good today. I'm sure a lot of us have been sitting a lot more. So let's just really feel the movement here. Let the tightness ease from the body. When you're ready, find neutral spine, press away from the earth, inhale, lift right leg up and back, left arm forward. Press away, really extend, exhale, one or both out to the side. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, knee to nose, belly through the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, out to the side. Try to isolate the movement, fight the wiggles. Nice. One more round here. All right, we'll inhale, lengthen, bend that knee, reach for the big toe side of the foot, curl the toe back. Yes, maybe look to left and up. If you don't have the foot, just pulse that heel. That's great too, you can bring both hands down to do that as well. All right. All right, hand comes down, exhale, cross that knee behind the other, splay the feet wide, walk the hands a little to the right, use and exhale, take those hips back. Toes are open. Maybe spider fingers here, activating a little more. Belly through the spine or just hang out and be soft, but breathing. Maybe begin to feel the hips, relax back a little more, a little more space. You always draw your nose around too. Nice stretch through the hip, the left hip here. All right, on an inhale, round it up slowly. Control the journey. Nice. Feel your foundation and inhale, left leg, right arm. Press away and extend. Telescope, expand, exhale, one or both out to the side. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, knee to nose. Feel the strength. Two more rounds. Try to feel yourself reach for that heel when it goes to the side and just find some extra extension, engagement. After this knee to nose, we'll be bending that knee and seeking the big toe side of the foot or pulsing that heel. Nice tension there between the hand and the foot. Maybe look to the right and up. What else? Fall over. <laughs> All right, and we'll exhale, cross that knee behind the other. Walk the hands to the left, pause, have a nice inhale, and exhale, just settle back. Feel the transitions, try to find a nice soothing edge through them. <coughs> Once again, softness or activation here. And we'll inhale, round it on up, yes. Working our way to tabletop, curling our toes under, half control, lift up and back to down dog. Treating our down dog, rolling on your toes, shifting around as much as you like. Yes, dropping a knee and a hip in. Notice where you might be a little tighter. Spend a breath or two there if it helps you find some space. All right, when you're ready, have a nice exhale, maybe out your mouth or side out, try to find some stillness here. Maybe bend the knees a little extra, see if that just helps seize the space there. All right, as slowly as you can, tuck your chin if you can, inhale, wave it to plank, a nice unfurling here, feel the extension. Exhale, lift it up and back just as slowly. 
feel those fingers working for you. Inhale to play a few more. Just feel the nice, beautiful flow here. The control. The movement with the breath. Just drawing you into this moment. All right, this time when we come to plank, we're going to hold our plank. How strong is your plank? You can always modify, lower those knees. You can even shift, lift one hand, rotate the wrist a little, shift to the other, feel light. That means you're really engaged. All right, with our exhale, we're going to come all the way down. Nice, give your shoulders a little roll. I guess y'all can see me, I can't see you when I come down. All right, we're going into Sphinx Pose. So on your elbows, straight down the shoulders, fingers spread wide. Draw those elbows back, lift from the heart, reach to the toes. Nice, glutes are engaged. You might stay here or on an exhale. Lift the hips, tuck the chin. Inhale, wave it back to Sphinx, find the edge. Those hip points seemingly draw forward. Exhale, round it up. Nice, three more of these. Nice strengthening and a lot of heat building here too. You can always just stay in the Sphinx pose as well or take a break. All right, after this Sphinx pose, we're gonna curl our toes under and find forearm plank. Place the tailbone to heels, press away from the earth, feel your bicep hugging. Keep the neck long, look forward a bit. Beautiful. Feeling any belly burn yet? I hope so. Feel free to go yay or nay. All right, we'll slowly lower it down. Yay. That's why your heart, keep your shoulders a little roll, elbows back and in. Light on the hands as you inhale up to your edge of cobra. Breathing, and once again, you can be down on your elbows for sphinx. So maybe draw the nose around a little. Just enjoy feeling the neck, get some movement here, release tension. Nice. And if it's available, pressing through the top of your feet, lifting the legs off the earth, the arms up straighten. You might even lift one leg. Up dog here. Maybe the other leg. Woohoo! I'm starting to warm up. Hips down, inhale. Exhale, wave it all the way down through the throat. Curl the toes under, exhale, down dog. Nice, lift your heels high. Tippy toe, feet between hands. Try to be light, lift those hips, bend the knees or lift fingers. Forward fold here, inhale, let's find some space in the spine. And exhale, fold. Let's take a moment here and dangle. And just kind of savor your breath. Tune into your breathing. You might hold opposite elbow, let the arms hang or swish or massage. Just what feels good right now to you. You might shift a little forward in the feet or shift back. Notice how that changes. You know, the body feels the forward fold. The pelvic floor belly are strong. The head is hanging to gravity. And the shoulders are soft at the base of the neck. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, beautiful. So let's press through those feet and inhale, slowly reverse it up, maybe a little bit of flat back, even a little bit of back bend for counter pose. And exhale, hands to heart center, grounding breath. All right, getting ready to work through our sun salutation A, meeting in down dog. Let's inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, fold. Soften those knees. Inhale, look forward and find space along the spine. And exhale, fold as you step or flow, going through your vinyasa. Maybe extra chaturanga dandasana, guys. Working up to that, you might try it at the beginning of your practice. And then back off. Ha, nice exhale, let it go. Let it out. All right, let's press away from the earth. Extend the through the spine, hips up and back. Inhale, right leg to sky. Feel the back of that right leg working. Maybe pulse it a few times. Try not to bend into the elbows, but keep pressing away. Exhale, bend that knee in the air. Reach your toes towards your left shoulder. Maybe draw a circle through the toes. 
Press more to your right hand. You might activate a little more here into the stretch and the twist. And maybe change your focal point. Inhale, lengthen the leg. Exhale, slowly knee to nose. Lift your back heel high. Can you touch knee to nose? Belly to the spine. Inhale, lift it all the way back up. Left heel towards earth. Exhale, knee to nose again. Look forward. Out of control. Can you set that foot inside your right hand? Ooh, nice. Beautiful. So pause. Maybe a bit of flat back or hands to the thigh. A little hinge here. And on an inhale, we'll just float it up. Crescent lunge. Exhale, soften those shoulders from the ears. Breathing, those pinkies are rotated in, so you really want to feel the telescoping through the fingertips, the expansion front to back, side to side here. Maybe even scoot that back foot back a little further. All right, right hand to hip, left arm hugs. Inhale and we'll exhale, hinge forward. Maybe play with that hinge, feel the strength of your foundation. All right, with our next exhale, left arm comes outside, that front leg, hands together, press away, and can you open your heart a little more to the side? Lengthen through that back heel, looking down to the side or up. Nice detoxing twist here, guys. You might stay with that or look a little forward, hard on the carpet here, but can you shift forward and lift that back leg? Wiggling included. All right, and we'll release it back. Slide your fingers to the floor or your books. We're lifting that back leg for standing split. Breathing, maybe pulse the leg a few times. Press firmly to your grounded foot. You might work towards supreme balance. Maybe right hand comes behind the calf, maybe left. Or you keep spider fingers, drawing the chest in, active. All right, we're gonna reach it back to lunge. Hands down, and can you, or do you even want to, hop and switch two to four times? One, two, three, four. And then just step back, going to your vinyasa, moving in, down dog. Nice. Maybe sigh it out when you get there. Notice how you're feeling. Breathing. We're going to inhale right leg to sky again. And exhale, bend it. Maybe stay here in the stretch or let's move up a little early. So if you're back bending too, be careful, be mindful. Squeeze the glutes. Breathe deeply, evenly. And we'll look back and we'll reach and we'll inhale right leg to sky. And exhale, release it down. Ah. All right, let's inhale, left leg to sky. Maybe pulse it a little, feel that leg really working. So it's not excess baggage. And then we'll bend that knee in the air, reach for our right shoulder. Breathing, press through the left hand, maybe change the focal point, draw circles with the toes. Anything that just feels fun or interesting. And we'll inhale, lengthen. Exhale slowly, knee to nose, make it strong, make it light. Inhale it up. Exhale, knee to nose again. And softly set that foot down as you can. Flat back. Let's inhale up. Press and lunge. <sighs> Exhale, soften. Beautiful. Hope everyone's starting to warm up a little here. Maybe take the foot back a little further. Deep in the lunge. All right, left hand to hip, right arm hugs, inhale. Exhale, hinge. Maybe play with the hinge. Feel how active everything is. And then we'll exhale, bring that right arm outside the front leg. Press away. Telescope to the spine, all the way to the back heel. And breathe into this twist. Remember, twisting releases tension and aggravation. So utilize your twists throughout your day. So once again, maybe staying here or looking forward, shift a little forward and lift the back leg. Feel how strong it is. And then we'll release it back again. Slide your fingers to the floor or blocks as we shift into standing split. 
breathing once again. Find your playful edge here. Maybe just pulse the leg. That's good too. And you're breathing. Head is dangling. All right. And we'll reach it back to lunge. Maybe go straight to vinyasa or hop and switch two to four times. We'll meet in down dog. <coughs> so inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, bend that feet. Feel the stretch, the twist. And then maybe flip. Breathe. Stay repressed away from the earth. Squeeze those glutes. And we'll look back and we'll reach and we'll inhale left leg to sky and exhale release it down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So at the bottom of your next exhale, walk, step, or float, feet between hands. Inhale, look forward and find space and exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse it on up, lift from the heart. All right. And exhale, hands to heart center. Nice. All right, let's inhale up. And exhale, fold. Spider fingers or your blocks, we're going into standing split again. So we're going to inhale our right leg to sky. All right, we're going into kundalini's descents or squats. So on an exhale, we're gonna bend the lifted leg, bring the knee in behind the other, offer your heart forward. Foot is flexed, yes. See that, and you're squeezing the legs. So we're gonna inhale into standing split again. Exhale, bring it back in. Nice flat back. Telescope the spine. One more time here. Exhale, bring it in. Press your grounded foot. Keep that spine long. Maybe even bring hands to heart. Breathing. Feel that leg burn. Yeah, baby. All right, hands down. Maybe not as you come back into the standing split. And exhale, release the foot down. Ah, take a moment, shift around a little. Breathing, just settling down. Then we'll shift our weight to our right foot and inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, bending both knees, bring that left knee in behind the right, flat back, flex the foot. Inhale, lift it up. Bend that right knee deeply too. Bring it in. Inhale it up. Last time here. Maybe keeping hands down, engaging to the core, you might bring hands to heart. It is very active. All right, inhale that leg up. Exhale, release it down. All right, let's inhale, reverse it on up. Reach, reach, reach. And we're gonna bring our arms forward. Keep them nice and fluid, no tension. Almost like you're radiating energy out your palms. All right, we're going to lift our heels. All right, wiggling is good, and we're going to come into a chair as deep as you can. Breathing, keep the shoulders soft at the base of the neck. Try not to sit on the heels, that would be cheating. Pelvic floor strong, inner thighs are hugging. Feet are really working here. Breathing. Nice. Two more breaths. Heels lifted, inhale all the way up. And exhale, fold. Oh, nice. Inhale, look forward and find space. And exhale, fold as you step or float, going through the nasa, meeting in down dog. Nice exhale, let it go. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, bend that knee in the air. Maybe once again, flip your dog. Yes, back bends, lighten our mood, make us happy. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Squeeze those glutes into the thighs. Look back, reach. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, knee to nose, no hurry. Set that foot inside your hand. All right, warrior one, back foot. Back foot comes a little forward and to the left. Toes mostly forward, heel down. Maybe a playful hinge here, feel those strong legs. Try not to move the legs as you inhale up. Warrior one. 
Exhale, soften those shoulders from the ears. All right, feel that left thigh spiraling forward, maybe deep in the lunge a little bit more. Feel that sweet stretch on that back leg. And do you feel the presence of your heart lifting and the expansion into your back when you breathe? All right, so mind your shoulders. If your shoulders aren't real happy to interlace behind, don't do it, okay? But um, we're gonna be doing that. You can always just fly the arms back. So inhale, exhale, take those arms behind. Lift from the heart, hug the upper arms. And on your next exhale, lead with the heart to a mini waterfall through the throat. Tuck the chin. Maybe track the knee a little more to the right if the space is there. Belly to the spine. Ooh, getting sweaty. All right, press to those feet and inhale, slowly round it up. Release the arms, give the shoulders a little roll. We're going into eagle arms as we bend our right arm, left arm underneath and around. All right, draw the elbows down and into the chest, fire up the back. Once again, tune into your legs, the quality of your foundation. Breathing, press through that back heel, spiral the left leg forward, feel strong and stable. Breathing into this nice compression through the shoulders, elbows, and wrists, maybe. Always, if you need to, open up, hug just the shoulders. If it's available on an inhale, the left heart and elbows out of the chest. You might even find a bit of a back bend. You might need to deepen in the lunge. All right, we'll slowly bring it up. Here comes a challenge with carpet. Shifting forward, you might need to let go of your arms and fly them, but we're going into warrior three, maybe with eagle arms. You might even reach them further forward. Lift through that back leg. Remember those pulses we were doing? Feel it working. We'll take it back into warrior three. I mean, so eagle arms with warrior one. Inhale the arms out and up. And reach, really reach. Feel yourself being drawn to the sky as we just lift our back foot and shift it to warrior two. Heel to heel or heel to arch alignment, okay? And we'll open up facing the camera, your phone, whatever. All right, track that front knee. Press into that left rib cage. You don't want to feel like you're leaning. You want to feel nice and straight up and down telescoped. All right, breathing. Maybe wiggle the wrists a little. Just take a moment here. All right, right hand to sky, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Feel the heart lift up and out of the spine. Try not to drop into that left side body. And as always, you can bend one arm or both. Look down the left shoulder or up towards the right. Maybe deep in the lunge. All right, we'll inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, hinge forward, just for fun. Feel it. And inhale, come back up, straighten the legs. And exhale, hinge again. Front knee stays soft into triangle pose. All right, so you might need your block or your block or book, but if you just press away from the shin, remember it's not about touching the floor. Feel the shoulders press back, so maybe you feel that spine really in alignment with the hip. You're not leaning forward. Yes, you're really drawing into a straight line here. Breathing. So we are going to go into half moon. You might need your block or book. We're gonna bend the front knee, left hand to hip helps with balance. As you shift forward, maybe bring right spider fingers down a little to the right and forward. That's gonna be like a bicycle kickstand for you. Of course, you can always bring it into alignment with the foot to challenge the balance a little more. We're trying to open the heart to the side. Stack your shoulders, stack your hips. Breathing, breathing, keep the neck long. And if you want to seek that half bow, bending the knee in the air, feel free to. You might even bring your right hand to heart. Beautiful. We'll open up, reach it back to warrior two, inhaling up. Exhale, take both hands down, vinyasa or not.
Nice exhale, let it go. Ah. This is hard, I'm used to hearing y'all talk more. <laughs> All right, so inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend that knee in the air, reach your toes towards the right shoulder, stay or play. Breathe. Feel the joy here, wherever you are. Look back, reach, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Set the foot down, back foot a little forward and to the right, pause, press through both feet, maybe play with the hinge, and on an inhale, just float it up, feel the quality, deepen it more, spiraling that thigh forward as you press through the heel, maybe deepen the lunge, and feel that stretch, feel the zip all the way up to the crown of the head, feel everything drawing to midline, shrink wrapping in, beautiful, beautiful. So on our exhale, we'll take hands behind. Once again, humble warrior, inhale, lift from the heart, press through the back heel, and feel the waves slowly forward on your exhale. Inhale, draw the belly to the spine. Take a moment if you need to here, just spend a few breaths, feel the strength, and release the hands down to the shoulders. All right, press through those feet, belly to the spine, slowly round it up. And release the arms out and up, inhale. Exhale, bend that left arm, right arm underneath and around, draw the elbows down and in. Once again, tune in to the quality and deep edge of your foundation. And breathe into the compression, wringing out the shoulders, the wrists, elbows, or holding on to the shoulders. Strong foundation, baby, on your inhale, you lift heart and arms. Up towards the sky, out of the spine. And we'll slowly lower the elbows down. Keep the squeezing. This is essential. Or release the arms and fly, your hands to hips. Squeeze those arms as you shift forward onto that front foot. Begin to lift the back leg. Find your edge of the hinge. Toes are active. Maybe reach the arms a little further forward as you hug them. All right, back to warrior one. Inhale those arms out and up. Feel the reach. And you just shift to your front foot as you lift that back leg. Heel to heel, heel to arch alignment, warrior two. Yeah, just a fun little transition there. Find your edge, tracking the knee, press into that right rib cage, soften the shoulders. Don't forget, engage those hip points like you're closing a book. Feel that extra strength there. Breathing. Left hand to sky, and with your exhale or inhale, take it back. Maybe deepen the lunge or bend those elbows. Just what feels good on your neck, whichever direction you like to look. There's no right or wrong, it's just what truly feels good to you. That's what's right. And we'll inhale up, warrior two, and exhale, hinge. Just trying to feel light here and balanced. We'll inhale back up, straightening legs, and then hinge again. Make sure the front knee doesn't lock, and then just rotate the arms, press away, and find the space, fingertip to fingertip, shoulders pressing back. Looking down can always help too, help you feel more um, in tune with where you are in space. But if you want to take the focal point up, feel free to. You just want to feel like you're being pressed between two pieces of glass nice and balanced. So maybe arm stays up, maybe hand to hip, block if you need it or book, shift forward, half moon, maybe slide your fingers to the floor, maybe you play with the hinge, any variation here. Breathing and you still got that awareness of that triangle being pressed between two pieces of glass. Maybe you seek that half bow, bending the knee in the air. Curl those pinky toes back a little, activate a little more. Maybe left hand up hard. All right, we're gonna open up. Reach for that warrior two again. Find the foundation and inhale it up, nice and fluid. Exhale, take both hands down. Vinyasa or not.
Here we go. Nice exhale, let it go. All right. This week, it's the right leg, guys. <laughs> Inhale, right leg to sky. As many breaths as you like, super slow. Bring that right foot outside your right hand. You might tap it a few times or even land with the heel first. Anything, any kind of challenge. Nice, flat back once you get there. And then we'll bring that left foot outside the left hand. Setting up for your Malasana squat. Take time, get in there. All right, breathing. Round it down a bit, get those triceps in front of those shins. Inhale, open it up and breathe. Give yourself a few breaths here and recognize you want to play a bit, twisting, left arm goes wide, using that chin, right arm goes up, or rounding down, breathing, just being, feeling what you're feeling, observing, trying to soften, shift into those heels, those toes lift a little maybe, yes, and pelvic floor belly strong, don't let that go. All right, so you have a lot more things around you today, so playing with that crow or crane, if you want to use any couches or cushions or stools, remember, we want to keep the knees deeply bent so the heels can stay lifted and the head stay flat. Maybe just a few push-ups first, shifting forward, touching the knees to the arms, lifting up and back, feel the wave through the core, the spine. Nice little push-ups here. Maybe going ahead into your crow or crane. Now, if your surface is different, be careful. Don't force it, don't rush it. Whew. A little extra work there with that carpet, I must say. Beautiful. And when you're done here, we're gonna work our way to down dog, maybe a vinyasa. I'm gonna get a little sip of water, so if you wanna get a sip of water, taking a break for that. Okay, great. Is everyone working up a sweat? Okay. okay. All righty. So when you're ready to down dog, optional vinyasa if it makes you happy. We're going into mountain climbers and then our pigeon. Remember, pigeon is available at the wall if you need it. Once you get to down dog, just have a nice exhale, sigh it out. And we'll inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, slowly knee to nose. You can be on hands and knees or do knee to nose every time. Inhale it up. Exhale, knee towards your right shoulder. Maybe your arm balance. We're holding for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale it up. Exhale, your knee towards your left underarm. Maybe your arm balance or spin the back heel down sideways and extend your leg over to the left. Press away from the earth. Reach for that right heel. Yes, we're holding. And down, inhale it up. Exhale, super smooth, knee to nose, belly to the spine, maybe touch that knee. And then how controlled can you land that pigeon? Try to get the knee outside the wrist. Once again, when you slide that back leg back, do it multiple times. Press to the back of the, the top of the foot, pull the left hip back. Let that front knee adjust. So it's really key here that you feel nice and centered through the hips. So this is where your prop comes in. So when you're leaning more to one side, it really kind of takes it out of the stretch. But if that's what makes you happy, do it. Take a moment, feel centered. Hands wider than the mat and a little forward. Inhale, waterfalls. Exhale, wave it through the throat. Tuck the chin, round it up. Look up at the last. Maybe two more. And then we'll exhale, lay it down. Take a moment, do you need to wedge in another blanket up under the chest? Something like that, just to feel nice and comfortable. And as always, find a nice variation that you like, whether it's that sleeping pigeon, draping the arm onto the leg, letting the wrist fall to the proper floor, revolving, threading the needle, and be for two breaths. So kind of like a yoga nidra, I'm going to give you this through your pigeon today. 
Imagine that I am pressing on your hips, just side to side, like I'm kneading bread. And then I'm slowly walking my hands up your back, like an elephant slowly walking up your back, just pressing down. Fanning my fingers out around the shoulder blades from the center to out a few times. Just feel that release. And then I walk my hands to the shoulders at the base of the neck and give a nice rub, a squeeze. And then my left hand at the base of your neck as my right hand presses up the sides of the neck to the base of the hairline a few times. Just feeling that space. Tuning in, you're breathing. And I slowly walk my hands back down, one at a time, side to side, back to the hips. One more press, and I'm gone. Okay, so lingering longer if you like, or on an inhale, slowly walk down up. Bend the back knee, draw the heel towards you, maybe that's enough. You can always go straight to down dog or vinyasa, and he'll reach that left arm forward enough. Maybe you didn't use the prop for pigeon, but you might need it here just to give you a little more space for the left side body. Maybe seeking your bind. Toes are open, press away from your foundation, and expand, and breathe, and be. Have to work hard to get warm enough to get in this. So take time, spend a little time. When you are ready, unwind with control and ease. Curl those toes under, maybe find a mini plank here, and then inhale that right leg up and back, and work it out. Nice. Pedal it out and down, dog. That addresses other areas too. And as always, optional vinyasa, nice and smooth with your breath. Feel the space, feel the edge melt away. And nice exhale, let it go. Ah. All right, let's inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale smoothly, knee to nose. Inhale it up. Once again, knee to nose if you like, or outside the left shoulder, arm balance. We're holding for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale it up. Exhale towards your right underarm. Maybe send that back heel down. Find that edge. A fallen triangle. Great side plank work here. Toes are active. Both feet. And down. Inhale your leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Stay controlled and slow as you can. Knee outside the left wrist. Slide it back. Maybe lift that leg. Pull it back a few times. Wedge in the prop mindfully. No hurry. Let the body acclimate. All right. And then into our waterfalls. Move with your breath. Feel the nice fluidity here. The control, the strength. And then maybe by your third one, just follow that exhale all the way down. You might exhale out your mouth or side out. Make sure your head is propped nicely onto something, whether it's the floor, the backs of your hands, or a block or blanket. That's going to allow your neck and shoulders to relax a little more. Once again, find your interesting edge, whether it's that sleeping pigeon, the ball, thread the needle. And as always, you can come up seated too and still get the stretch. Even onto your elbows. But you're breathing. Just tuning in, trying to soften. And then once again, I begin to press on your hips. One hand at a time, side to side, like I'm kneading bread. Maybe you feel the spine relax a little more, the muscles along the spine. And then slowly, one hand at a time, I walk up your back, slowly pressing side to side. 
I get to the shoulder blades, I use my fingertips to fan out from the center out a few times. And then I walk up to the shoulders at the base of the neck and give a few squeezes. And your left hand at the base of your neck as I press the neck up towards the hairline. Gently running along the spine there. Slowly just walking my hands back down your back towards the hips. Just a gentle pressure. And then press the hips, balance, and I'm out. On an inhale, maybe begin to slowly walk it up. No hurry ever. Bending the back knee. Maybe inhale, reach up right arm forward. Exhale, take it up and back. Reach the toe side of the foot. Feel the toes curl back. Very active. Maybe float that left arm up or even sweep your mind. Press away from the earth. Feel everything working here. You want to feel lighter and expansive, so you're engaging. Even front toes are open, protecting that front knee. Breathing. All right, we'll slowly unwind. Take your time, work it out. Oh yeah. Set those pops aside. And then yasa. Take a moment when you're done, come seated and contemplate what you would like to do for your inversion today. I could technically just let you do all that after class, but I would like to do it while you're still just you're mindful, you're calm after pigeon. So remember, wherever you choose to go, right away when you set your foundation, begin to focus on your breathing. And each step of the way, just build it step by step. Don't try to get to the pose and then breathe. Feel the transition, all right? So it can be your headstand, shoulder stand, legs up the wall. You don't even have to be at the wall. You can just have legs up or even place the blanket up under your hips. Once again, breathing wherever you are. Nice, I see some heat up in the air, fun stuff. And I'll play a little with y'all too. Once again, if you have carpet, you should be wiggling a little extra here. If you have a wall-to-wall -wall rug carpet with the padding underneath, oh yeah. Good core work. Are you breathing? Are you feeling the edge? Or take a break if you need to. Child's pose, peaceful warrior. Or change it up and do another pose. Yes. So maybe when we're done here, if you did a shoulder stand, you want to do uh, your fish pose, a nice kind of pose. But if you didn't, then you want to just kind of rock it out with a transition or even a happy baby. You all know what's intuitive and what you should be doing after your inversions. Just calming down. If you're a happy baby, remember lengthen that tailbone away from you. Maybe tuck your chin a little bit. Feel the spine, all the muscles around the spine active. And then you get a sweeter massage. All right. So hands behind the knees. A few egg roll, rock and rolls. We're not coming to boat yet, but we are going to come standing. We could be seated for straddle, but like I said earlier, I think we're all sitting maybe a bit more. So standing's a good thing. And we'll get, let gravity um, have its way with our spine. So remember, big toes point forward to protect those precious knee joints. Either hands to hips or a little more challenging, arms wide. Knees stay soft, inhale. 
and exhale into flat back. Once you get to flat back, inhale, press your mid back to sky. Peel the shoulders from the ears. Feel the spine telescope. Breathing strong here. And with your next exhale, just slowly wave into a fold. Take a moment here. Stay connected with your breath and then recognize if you want to flirt with getting your feet a little wider. You can always bend the knees side to side. Your skandhasana lunges keep the spine engaged. Try not to just, if you're going side to side, feel that spine telescope. All right. Whether you're hanging down or flat back. All right. Breathing. We're going to get a little more twisting in here, okay? So we're going to inhale to flat back. And the awareness of your flat back is key in this particular twist. So on an exhale, walk your hands over towards your right foot. Feel the flat back. Now your right hand is going to come to your hip. And your left hand is either going to come outside the calf, the ankle, the foot, or the floor. All right? And inhale into that flat back. Feel the spine telescope. And exhale, use your left hand to draw your chest towards the thigh without landing. Breathing, and you might take your right arm to sky, and exhale, take it behind your back. You can look up towards the sky, the ceiling, I should say, or down. On an exhale, just go ahead and round it in a little. And then inhale into that flat back again. Feel the space. And exhale, we'll unwind. Maybe bend the knees a couple times again. Just work it out or massage. Take it in deeper or hug yourself in. Just be wherever you are and play with it. Nice. On our next inhale, we'll come to flat back. And exhale, walk our hands over towards our left foot. Left hand to hip, right hand outside the calf, the ankle, foot, toe, or floor. Inhale, feel the space, lengthen through that core, and exhale, use our right hand to draw you in. Maybe float that left arm up, inhale, and exhale, take it behind the back. Breathing, soften your gaze, deep breathing here, guys. Feel the expansion, front to back, side to side. On your next exhale, maybe just round it in a little, release. And then inhale, find the space again. And exhale, unwind. Oh, yeah. And now we'll work it out. And we're going to walk our hands towards the top. Step your back, right foot forward. And, or just sit down. I don't know which foot you have that, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Into our boat, we're going. So find that triangle between your sit bones and your tailbone. Feet are a little flexed to your active or pointed. Just make sure they're active and open up into your edge of boat. And breathe. Lift from the heart. Feel the shoulders draw from the ears. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Yes. And let's just go ahead and take it side to side. Ooh. Bend the knees at the center, lengthen them, and pull to the side. addressing other abdominals here when we play like this. All right, remember when you're done, you're done. You go to your back, hug it in, rock it out, side to side. And then, whoo, yeah, feels good. Now the carpet feels really good, let me tell you. All right. So from here, we're gonna set up for our bridge. If you wanna do your camel, remember that is more of a full Abdominal stretch and bridge. Remember your hips will go forward, maybe toes pulled under, or your wheel. Okay, I'll set you all up for bridge, and it can be restorative with a books or blanket up under your hips too. So feet about hip width apart. Walk your heels towards your fingertips. Drop your arms into your rib cage a little. Press through your heels, and on an inhale, lift your hips to sky. Feel the glutes squeeze, the inner thighs work. Maybe rock the arms closer yet again, or even interlace. Feel those glutes working. Lift the heels high. Yes, and try to keep the hips that high as you super slow motion, lower the heels. Maybe deepening that bend in the back when you're breathing. Give yourself four or five more breaths here. Can you do it? 
Most of us don't have any other place to be but right here. Let that Ujjayi breath carry you, fuel you, and calm you. Remember, when you are done, you'll lift your heels and very slowly round your spine down. Give the spine time to neutralize again. Roll the tailbone away, maybe windshield wiper the legs or, or knees together touching, just having a moment or two. All right? Breathe, breathing. Nice. Looking great, time wise, guys. So we're gonna maybe do a few more egg roll, rock and rolls here and just get another leg stretch in, coming up seated. So let's do head to knee pose. We'll bend our right leg in. Left leg can either be straight forward or out to the side, wherever your hips want to go. Both feet are flexed here. If your right knee is far off the floor, wedge in a blank your block up under it, okay? And if you're rounded through the lower block, you need to sit on uh, lower back. If you're rounded through the lower back, you need to sit on your blanket to neutralize your pelvis so your spine will find more space, all right? So let's align our hearts to our left leg. A few mini waterfalls, inhale, exhale, wave the heart through the throat, tuck the chin. Just feel really good here. And when you're ready, on an exhale, just let your spine drape forward. Foremost, you're one with your breath, you're hearing it, you're feeling it. And then you're just intuitive with your hands and your arms, where you want to go. So it's twisting to be had, massaging, reaching, stillness. And we'll inhale, slowly bring it on up and switch legs. Shifting, inhale and exhale, mini waterfall. Feel the strength, the softness. So utilize those exhales to really allow some tension to melt away that fight or flight sympathetic nervous system. Feel the, how the engagement of the pelvic floor and the belly just help the spine to relax and find more space there. Yes. So not so worried about pinching anything or tweaking. Deep breathing still. All right, we'll inhale slowly, bring it on up, extend both legs just for a counter pose and recentering. Inhale and exhale, wave forward. Let's spend about three breaths here, stillness or movement. We'll release our fingers to the floor and slowly round it on up. Arms forward, palms facing each other, maybe heels off the earth even as we flex our feet. Inhale. And as slowly or quickly as you like, rounding down, rounding down. Once you do get down, let your arms go past your ears and just have a moment or two of ha. You finally hear you arrive. All right, so let's bend our knees. All right, let your hips recenter, arms wide. Let's take our feet nice and wide. Now I want you to make sure you have a blanket nearby so you can adjust here. Your feet are as wide as your mat. We're gonna exhale, take our knees over to the right. And so your left knee should be straight down from the left hip. Now you might just stay here. If you have another spinal twist you like, feel free. And if you can, lift your right heel on top of that left thigh. Now, if your left knee is not touching the floor, you might want to stop, sit up, and place the blanket up under your left knee, and then go back at it, all right? And then there, it'll have some support, all right? Maybe look to the left. Let your right hip kind of melt. And hopefully, you begin to feel this stretch, this twist, in multiple places in the body. Outside that left hip, maybe you feel it inside the right thigh a little bit, right hip. Everybody's going to feel it in multiple and different places more so than others. 
You're feeling your shoulders just kind of melt and relax. And we'll slowly lift our right foot off, feet wide, knees up, let's lift our hips from center. On an exhale, we'll take our knees over to the left. Once again, if that right knee's not going to come to the floor, go ahead and take a moment, wedge it and blanket up under it. And then we'll take our left heel onto the right thigh, maybe look towards the right. Have a nice inhale and exhale, let that left hip kind of soften. And just begin to breathe through deep, breathing in and out through your nose. Maybe just feel the vibrations on the exhales, that resonation through the body. It's great. We'll slowly unwind, lift our hips again. Recognize if you need any kind of movement, windshield wipers, happy baby. Sometimes just even a cloud pose feels good for the back. You know, just let it be what it is and breathe and be. And then you know what time it is at Shavasana. Feel free to tune me out if you want to or turn it off, but you know Shavasana is the most important pose in your practice. I'm going to walk you through it a little deeper today, maybe. So as always, find yourself comfortable. Get the wiggle squiggles out. Recognize if you need anything under your knees. Point your big toes in towards one another. Or allow them to flop out. Get that jello jiggle wiggle on your thighs. Really feel it. Let the tension melt away. And then let's begin to part our lips generously. And feel that skin melt from the face to the bone. Maybe the eyes almost begin to feel like they sink in a little more. Even the nasal passages just kind of soften all the way through the ears. Sinking, melting. You might even feel the hair follicles. Just kind of melting or tingling. And now just try to allow your head to melt to gravity. Let it go, the weight. And your neck softens through the shoulders, through the biceps, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, through the fingers, everything's draining and melting out the tips. Your chest begins to just sink in. And you begin to feel the internal organs melt and soften. The pelvic area. And the hips just seem to soften and melt. And when the hips melt, the thighs just melt and roll out to the sides seemingly. The knees melt. A beautiful sweep down your shins to the top of the ankles, to the tips of the toes. Through the arches of the feet. And the only thing left to melt now are the heels. Whether you're feeling a sense of heaviness or weightlessness, just try to surrender into that even more. Feel 
feel yourself melt into your floor that you walked over many times. Just feel yourself become one with it. And then slowly begin to deepen your breathing. Feel your life energy in your body. Savor the fact that you can breathe so well, so deeply. Remember to keep breathing deeply. Utilize the capacity of your mind. Feel that energy. Stillness or movement. Just observe and enjoy. A long body stretch calls you feel free. I'm just trying to be correct here, avoiding the face, maybe hands to heart center. And remember, always remember to just find the small thing. Remember, glass half full, not half empty, right? Namaste.